Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a stream for your PS4. I recently bought my first capture card and set up my own stream, and I would like to explain to you guys how I did it. I will be showing you guys how to install and set up OBS Studio, add the OBS Live plugin from Stream Elements, how to create your very own Twitch overlays for your stream, how to get the gameplay on your stream and the settings you need to adjust in your PS4 menu, and how to get your controller input on your stream. For all the different parts, I added timestamps in the description so you can skip to the parts you want to see. So, first things first, to be able to stream with your PS4, you need a capture card. I know this sounds very expensive and you might be thinking why not just stream di directly for my PS4? Well, I just bought the cheapest capture card from Amazon for 25 bucks and it works just fine. Of course, the more expensive cards are maybe able to capture a higher definition video or have built in audio mixing capabilities, but the cheap capture card works just as fine as well. And why not stream from the PS4 directly? This is definitely not a bad option and it's free. But if you want better quality streams with Twitch overlays, controller inputs, better audio quality, maybe some background music or something, a cheap capture card is your best option. When looking for a capture card, just make sure that it's not a capture card for a camera, but one for a PS4. This means that it has one input and two outputs, one for your monitor and one for your PC. Where I was looking for was a device capable of recording 60 frames per second at 1080p, because this is the video format that I want to put out on YouTube and Twitch. There are devices capable of recording 4K or anything like that, but the PS4 actually only sends out 1080p footage. As you can see, I have a whole list of devices that are capable of these functions. Um, I will leave a link in the description to the one I bought. Then, downloading OBS Studio. OBS Studio is the software program that is capable of recording and streaming all of our content. We need to download this program, the link will be in the description below. After installing OBS and opening it, you might see that OBS looks a little bit different on my screen than it does on yours. Uh, this is because I have the OBS Live plugin installed. This plugin will add your Twitch chat and subs to the OBS Studio screen so you can see everything that's happening from your OBS Studio. The link to this will be in the description below as well. Uh, it's on the Stream Elements site where you just have a little tab that says OBS Live. Uh, download it and install it and it will add the chat and the subs and notifications to your OBS studio. After installing the OBS Live plugin, it's time to create your own stream. We will start with a Twitch overlay. It is possible to create your very own overlays with programs like Photoshop and After Effects, but the way easier option is using the pre-made ones in Stream Elements. You go to the themes gallery and search for an overlay you like. When you found one, you click on create and add them you can see them in my gallery. Um, if you want to edit one of your overlays, because these are all just general overlays without your name in it, you can just go to edit and uh, edit this however you like. Um, I would suggest just uh, adding in your YouTube name or your Twitch name or something like that. Just removing maybe the, uh, or maybe removing the webcam borders because you're not gonna use them like I do, uh, because I use my controller input instead of a webcam. Uh, here you have some footage in the background of me adjusting the text, like adding my YouTube name and stuff. You can click and drag everything you like, adjust fonts, adjust sizes of everything, uh, delete them and even test out some notifications. When you're satisfied with your overlay, uh, save it and go to My Themes. And you copy the URL and go to OBS. In OBS, create a new scene called something like Gaming Scene, then add a source, click on the browser and copy the link from the stream elements. Make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080 pixels. After editing the Twitch overlay, we want to add our controller input. We use a site called Gamepad Viewer. Plug in your controller to your PC and open the Gamepad Viewer site. Push in some buttons and the site should recognize your controller. You have to switch to player one uh, to get your input on the screen. Um, you can customize all your skins and stuff however you like. When you're satisfied with skin, just generate a URL. Here you have to adjust the skin again to the one you have just chosen. Uh, when you have copied the URL, you can open up OBS again and add a browser source. Uh, you, can copy the, you can copy the URL into this source. Uh, you don't have to worry about the 
high fan width of the browser because you're gonna rescale it anyways. Click on OK and the controller should pop up, pop up on screen. If it says disconnected, just uh, push on some buttons on your controller. Uh, sometimes it, it does show your controller but not your inputs. Uh, when that happens, just save everything and open up OBS once again with your controller already plugged in that should resolve any issues you have. After getting the controller on your screen, we want to add a gameplay capture from your video capture device. Here I'm using an existing one, but you can see in the settings what I have to input to get the video on my, on my device. Uh, as a device you choose USB video, all the other things should be okay already. And by adding this video capture device, you should get your gameplay from your ca video capture card. Uh, you can turn off some of the other inputs you have on your OBS, like the controller inputs and the Twitch overlays, if you don't want to see them right now. After that, we're going to look at some system settings that you have to adjust for your PS4 in order for the capture card to work correctly. Go into your setting men settings menu, screen and sound settings. Then you can go into your uh, settings for video output and put it on 1080p. Uh, you can go into your system settings and HDCP should be turned off and HDMI uh, should be turned on like the settings you see on the screen. Audio devices, you have to put your output of your um, of your console to your monitor or to, you, to your screen because the audio you want to capture with your capture card and this can't be through the controller so you should output your audio to your TV. To add other audio sources like your microphone or um, PC sounds, just add a audio source. Uh, here you see the devices that I am capable of selecting. I have a USB microphone added into my PC so I can add those sounds uh, to my stream as well. Uh, this is the same way I'm recording sounds right now. Um, but add a microphone to your sound mix so now you have game audio and microphone audio add desktop audio for things like spotify or other stuff i have my desktop audio already set up but i'm gonna show you which settings i use uh, it's it's basically just the speakers or headphones i have in my uh, pc that i want as audio output uh, in this uh, case it's just the speakers so as you can see my desktop audio is now working because I'm playing Spotify on the background and it's recording it so it will also send this to streams um, and record it if I re record any uh, gameplay. And the last thing I'm adding right now is the game sound from the capture card. Um, you have to add the audio, audio source yourself. It's a digital audio interface um, so we basically have three three different types of audio, the microphone, which is a USB mic, uh, the desktop audio, which are the speakers or headsets in my, um, in my computer, and the last one is the uh, audio from the capture card. Here you can see how I want to structure the audio recordings. I want uh, different tracks in my recordings for all my different sources. So I want my microphone on a different track, my game audio on a different track, and my desktop audio on a different track. This way, if I record gameplay or anything, I can just delete my microphone or the uh, background noise uh, that I have. As you can see here in the settings and output, I have the three different tracks enabled for my recordings so I can separate those easily. Um, here I go over all the other settings in my OBS uh, for how I record stuff. Uh, I'm connected to Twitch as you can see. Uh, the output for my audio is MP MP4 with three different tracks. For my streaming is X264 which you wanna do. The other settings should be correctly already, should be correct already. Um, then for the audio, I haven't changed any bit anything here. Replay, replay buffer you want to enable. That's how you can record gameplay while you're streaming with a, with a short key, with a hot key. Uh, hot keys you have to fill in yourself, so I have control S. So when I'm streaming and I have a replay buffer running, I can just re I can just uh, type in re control S and just uh, save gameplay from the last minute or three minutes or 10 minutes, however you like. 
Um, then for audio settings, you can do whatever you like. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, everything's basically the same as it was already. And then for a video, you wanna record 1080p uh, with 60 frames per second, like I have here. Uh, process pri priority is high, so your processor and stuff will give priority to this program. Um, just copy all the settings I have here and it should work just fine. Enable hardware acceleration, and that should do it for now. I know that it's uh, a lot of information in one video, um, so if you have any questions just uh, type it in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. Uh, the audio settings are a little bit difficult as well with the cheaper kinds of capture cards. I have a video in the link below that does a really good job in explaining that. And definitely leave a comment with any other videos you would like to see concerning stream setups, maybe how to make intros, outros, that kinds of stuff. Uh, because I really like doing that. I'm still learning it myself, but I do like doing it. And uh, yeah, just leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.